Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your figs. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. I'm pissed off. This video today is uh, unlike any other video that I've ever made. This is a uh, reply, I guess, so to speak. I did a live last night kind of doing a reply, I guess, on IG. It was my first live, man. I tried to do it here on YouTube, but being that I had never done a live, I had to wait 24 hours. And I had all intentions on doing that tonight. But I ended up, you know, I had a... Uh, a buddy of mine kind of pushed me to do the live on IG. You know, he recommended that I just jump on there and, and address it, take it heads on. And I kind of regret that a little bit, you know, because I felt that my live, I, I wasn't prepared. Once I started seeing people come in the fucking chat, it kind of like it threw me off. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't do like, like, like these people did, you know. These people had a calculated attempt to make me look bad. And so therefore, that's why I'm doing this video, just to defend myself. Not that I feel I have to, you know. Uh, if it was up to my wife, I wouldn't be doing this at all. She tried talking me out of it. Several people tried talking me out of it. And then there were several people who told me that I should do a reply. So somewhere in the middle, I decided to do this video instead of doing a live. Um, I want my first official live to be a positive uh, environment, a positive, uh, positive video. And this is not going to be that. Uh, this guy last night, we'll call him Cuck for short, but he's known as Jamie. He involved himself in something that had absolutely nothing to do with him. And when I say nothing, I literally mean nothing. Several months back, uh, I'd say in March of 2023, Jamie and I, we were on good terms, you know. Early in um, his career on his channel, before I started doing my videos, I was actually a supporter of his channel. I actually sent him knives to review, personal knives of mine, which he would keep for months, many, many weeks at a time. I know he, I know he liked to mention that when he came to me, but, um, and at that time, you know, I had a nowhere near the collection that I have now, but I just wanted to help his channel grow. I even gifted him a knife, you know, who does that? A lot of people do that. And you'll hear more about that here in a second. Uh, but anyways, I digress. The relationship was, was good. And so for some reason, unbeknownst to me, he told a gentleman by the name of Craig, otherwise known as Saigon Kick, to start sending me some knives. So that first box that showed up was unexpected. I got the heads up from Jamie telling me to be on the lookout, that something was coming. And man, did that, that box not disappoint. It was fantastic. Thousands of dollars worth of knives came, came here to me uninsured, but thank God they showed up and they were great. They were knives that I had never had a chance to experience. Uh, wonderful pieces. I was so taken back by this gesture that I developed a relationship with Craig, Saigon Kick 2018. You know, I thought it was such a great thing that he had done. I was thankful and we started to communicate outside of YouTube, outside of IG at that. We exchanged phone numbers. We would even talk quite a bit, several times a week, you know, sometimes every other day, 30, 40 minute phone calls, you know, quite a bit of talking, learning about each other, learning about each other's collections, what have you. All during this time, this guy's nowhere in the picture. Hold on, I'm hydrating. So at that point, he's removed from the situation. Now, on that, I believe it was the second box because the first box got sent back. You know, I didn't want to hold them too long. This was a new, a new guy sending me video or sending me knives. I did my uh, unboxing, did a couple of videos on it, sent him back the not sent him. I, I think actually that box went to Jamie. I sent that box to Jamie. Then box two came. Now in box two was this gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Uh, this is the Peña Mula. Sons of Liberty rendition, 1776, don't you forget. I love this knife. I loved it the minute I saw it. It just so happens that the minute I saw it was about March 27th, somewhere in that range. 
and I had happened to buy the Sharp by Design Mini Typhoon, Mini Evo Typhoon. Great knife, okay? It just wasn't for me. So about three days after purchasing this knife, they were sold out everywhere, you know? I paid just under four with shipping. Um, didn't get to use it on White Mountain, unfortunately, but nonetheless, I digress. When I, when I got the knife about three days in, I felt that I wanted to return it, you know? It was fucking almost 400 bucks. I didn't, I didn't like it. It had a single form of deployment. I just, I said, nah, I just can't, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing this. However, Craig liked the knife. So I offered him a trade, you know, uh, the sharp by design was at that point, like I mentioned, sold out and it was close to 400, which was more than this knife, which is the Sons of Liberty, uh, Fenya. Now you can find this knife. They're hard to find. I don't want to shit you because you know, it never shit you. These are hard to find, but they do pop up occasionally. Um, I've seen them as low as 250 and seen them as high as 325 on the secondary. So we'll call it three. $300 value, trade value to my you know $400 trade value. There was $100 left over. So keeping that in mind, don't forget that part. Um, Craig said we would address that later. You know, we would address it later. And that was probably my biggest regret at the time or my biggest mistake, I should say. We should have nipped it in the bud right then and there, but we carried it on. So several transactions later, or not even transactions, but several boxes later, you know, I'm, I'm going through his knives as they come to me. Um, I started getting into the Sage series from Spyderco. You know, there's Sage 1, Sage 2, Sage 3, and Sage 5. I had acquired Sage 5, and I had acquired Sage 3. And I was hell-bent on getting them all. So it's at this time that Craig knew this and he says hey buddy i got the sage too and i said no shit yeah man you you, you gotta have this knife is what he, his, exact, his exact words to me was this is your knife this is your knife uh, i didn't you know i wasn't sure how i felt about it because i was still granted i wanted to acquire the series you know I, my eyes were on other things at the time so he says to me one day here's a tracking number i sent you this knife this is your knife this is for you and what, that, what ended up coming was this one, the Sage 2 from Spyderco. So his exact words to me at the time were, this is your knife, it's yours, I sent it to you. Yeah, there was a uh, $100 difference that I'm still to the good. At that point, I don't worry about the $100 no more, you know? You gifted me a knife. How, what type of guy would I be to stress you on that $100? So at that point, these two were mine. Simple as that. Now, fast forward to where we are today, uh, today being August 2023. The relationship took a big turn sometime around Blade Show. I won't really get into specifics, um, but I, at that point, I had returned physically box number two that he had sent to me uh, in hand. You know, it was a physical exchange. At that point, I even tried to not even take any more knives from him because, like I mentioned, the relationship was 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 different, you know. But he was adamant. He wanted me to take another box of knives with me. So I left Blade Show with more knives of his. So when I got back from Blade Show, like I mentioned, the relationship was a little bit different. That box of knives literally sat on my floor since that time until last Saturday. And during this time, it had become apparent to me that Craig was a troll. He had admitted to me on several occasions that he had several accounts and that he would comment on all the channels, including Jamie's, to get people's reaction, to see how they would act. I thought that was really fucking creepy. You know, like who the fuck does that? But wasn't my, wasn't my decision. That was, his, that was his gig, you know? So keeping that in mind, like I mentioned, fast forward to last week, I started noticing some comments from an account that I didn't know. I hadn't seen this account much on my on any of my comments, and if I did, uh, it, nothing really stuck out. But there were some comments, and I don't want to call them mean, but they were like um, like a hater vibe to them, you know, like someone just giving you shit about shit. So one of the comments he he wants to call me out on the fact that I mentioned that Vostid had was utilizing M390 for the first time on the Mayhem, which is what I thought. But he wanted to let me know that that was incorrect. That was, that was very important to him, that he wanted me to know that 
Now, mind you, at this time, I do not know that this account is Craig's. So my reply to him was uh, not knowing that it was him. I tell it because he came across saying if memory served him right, that wasn't the first time that N390 was used. So my reply was, if memory serves me right, don't you owe me money? Laughing emoji. Well, that comment must have stewed in his mind for about a week. And on Friday night, he couldn't take it no more. And he decided to start sending comments back at me. And that is when he let it be known that it was him. One of the comments, he says things that only he would be privy to. So that at that point, I realized it's him. And then I start going back into comments and then starting to look and finding more and more comments. Now, if you go try to find these comments today, you won't find them. They have been deleted. Okay, he deleted the comments. I did manage to grab a screenshot of one comment, which is the comment that really made me decide to end the relationship. Uh, the comment to not get, you know, I'm going um, not verbatim, but the comment was along the lines of telling me that people were dumber after watching my videos. Now, you know, when I say that out loud, people may be like, that bothered you? Yeah, it fucking bothered me. I can't tell you why. I guess maybe being that it was coming from him. And there's a little bit more to the story, which I cannot elaborate. You have to trust me on that. I am not going to do like Craig did. I'm not going to bring people into this. You know, this is between me and him. I refuse to do that. But anyways, when I read that comment on Friday night, it fucking irked me. So immediately on Saturday morning, you know, my decision, I packed up all his knives except one, which was a mistake, was an oversight. And that was the Ontario rat that he had sent me several months back to use as a comparison knife. And if my memory, if my memory strikes me right, I swear to you on everything. I even remember him telling me I could use it as a giveaway, but that's irrelevant. But I'm telling you, the fucker told me that. So Saturday morning when I sent the knives out, I sent him a screenshot of the front of the box, or rather, I'm sorry, not the front, of the actual shipping label from USPS. Now, if anyone has shipped knives from USPS, you know that the actual label they print, they do not put a name on it. They st strictly put the address, the name of who you're sending it to and any uh, apartment numbers or what have you, box numbers will be what you wrote on the front of the box. So I sent him the picture of the tracking number and let him know, thank you for sharing. That was literally the text that I sent him. So I know that caught him off guard because he wasn't expecting that. He hadn't asked me for the knives. He had told me several times over to keep these knives, keep them as long as I, as long as I want. He would let me know when he wanted them. Several times I tried to tell him, look, bro, they're just sitting here. Don't worry about it. I got 300 knives. Just, they're good. I know where they're at. Okay, no problem. So when he received the box on Monday of this week, was it this week? I think it was this week. Wait, I don't know. Maybe it was, no, I think it was this week. Yeah, it was this week. When he received the box on Monday, he immediately says that um, the Sage 5 and the Ontario rat are missing. So I replied to him that the rat was an oversight and that um, I would be sure to send it to him because the name suited him right. Now, you're probably wondering how I got to, to starting to say that. Like I mentioned, there were several instances from Blade Show coming forward where we would have we had gotten into it. Actually, several weeks leading up until last week, we, we wouldn't even talk hardly. Uh, we wouldn't even speak. The relationship had gotten so bad, there was just like a, a weird vibe, you know? It, it just was. But anyways, I digress. Um, called him a cocksucker, which... That, that is what it is. Maybe I'm wrong for that. Okay. Maybe I am. But nonetheless, that's what the fuck I said. Called him a cocksucker. So now I guess, you know, maybe this video isn't making the most sense. But these are my knives. I was gifted this sage. And this one I traded to at a loss. Still owes me a hundred bucks on that. But we squashed it because he gifted me a knife. So I wasn't going to stress him for that. So when you hear this guy the cuck, involve himself in this, it really bothered me. For one, I was a supporter of this guy. I had even spoke to this guy the Saturday morning that I was sending the knives out. Because after I found out that Craig was trolling me, and then in, in remembering how he had mentioned to me 
that he had done the same thing to all channels, that he was using several burner accounts, that he had commented on Jamie's videos, everybody's videos, the big shot videos, you know, the big, uh, the big uh, channels, that he was doing it all over. Something hit me. I remember the other day how Jamie had made a video about a guy who made a comment about him being obnoxious with the uh, flicking of the knives. And I swear to you that I thought for a minute, I said, man, that sounds like something Craig would say. And being that he uses multiple accounts, I'm going to do a little bit of investigating. So I called up to Jamie to speak to him. And I told him flat out what the deal was. I said, hey, buddy, I hate to, um, I wanted to thank you, number one, for introducing him to me. But the relationship is, is no longer good. I'm sending back his knives. I didn't elaborate. Actually, I, I, I lie. I think I did tell him that I found Craig was... Um, was sending these comments and that I didn't know was a, that I didn't know it was his account. That's when Jamie says, Oh, that's his account. You know, that's that he's, he's used that account forever. I didn't know that, but nonetheless, there were other instances that he was making these comments. You can always tell the way he speaks in his comments. Like you can tell, uh, but nonetheless, Jamie was uh, all on board. He told me that, Oh man, you know, yeah, it's it's a good thing you're a good guy because, you know, someone could have just kept all his knives, man. Like he was literally telling me like, oh, I almost felt like he was encouraging me to not send him his fucking knives. And this is his buddy now. OK, this is his partner. So, you know, he plays this this both sides of the fence shit. And um, he's the one who told me how I could stop Craig from commenting on my channels without him even knowing. Like there's a way to to block a. Uh, a commenter, which I had no idea. So he was involved in that. And as of hanging the phone up on Saturday, I thought everything was fine. Now, not that I give a fuck, but I felt that I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the history, a little bit of how we got to where we're at. If any of you feel different about it, this is America. Do as you please. But my track record speaks for itself. I've had over 50 swap or rather 54 sales and swaps on Reddit with absolutely zero complaints. I've had two sales on knife sale. I have, I'm involved in two pass around groups. Not one time has anyone not got their stuff back. I currently have, uh, I actually got one person's knife here, which I've had for several weeks. And he keeps telling me, don't worry about it. I'll let you know when I want it back. One thing that I'm doing going forward on anything that I didn't do with, 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 with Saigon is text messages. Saigon did not like to text message. He hated it, you know? So unfortunately, there's not much to corroborate what I say, and there's nothing to corroborate what they say. So at this point, it's up to you to decide on what you want to believe, you know? I would never shit nobody, man. I got money, motherfucker. Don't get it fucked up. I buy my knives. This isn't blades and EDC. I don't, I don't, you know, my channel will function just fine with the pass around groups and the knives that I buy. His channel would not be where it's at today. And he'll tell you without Craig's backing. You might want to change that channel name to Saigon Kick Blades and EDC. You know, just a thought. Well, I feel like I'm getting long winded here. What do you fuckers think? Tell me all about it. If you don't believe me, that's your right. But I'd never shit you. And for all the fuckers who have supported me and believe me, I love you guys, man. I shit you not. You guys mean a lot to me. Let me know what you think. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!